In this video, we will cover what's new in Shortcut 21.01.29. So let's dive straight into this video. The first thing that you see in Shortcut is when you bring a variable frame rate video in to Shortcut, is that you will see this convert to edit friendly window pop up. This window has already been there for quite a while. However, the new change is this advanced tab over here. This tab here, when you click on it, gives you additional options. For example, now you can actually choose whether you want to deinterlace that video, or whether you want to override the frame rate. It allows you to do all that so you can select your frame rate. And if you are like some people who are recording their video in HDR, there's also the ability to convert it to PT.709 color space that allows you to set the a tone of your color in the right manner. If you are not familiar with all this, uh, do just uh, ignore this and just uh, close the tab and just use this convert edit friendly. Uh, you can choose good, better uh, or best. This is ways to change a file from a variable frame rate so that you can do reliable editing. Now next is actually on the playlist. Now if you add a video onto the playlist, in the past, when you drag a video in, that video might play. However, with this new uh, version, the video doesn't play anymore. So it's only when you click on the video that the video will start to play on your uh, preview window over here. Another thing that you can note is that now there is a very faint red box that comes up here that shows you which is the video that's on your source window. So that way you know and you don't have doubts especially if you have videos that pretty much looks about the same. This is a good look on a shortcut and I'm going to see that shortcut is beginning better and better with each new release. One final thing is the export. Now with this version of shortcut, now you can actually export and also process AV1 video. So what is AV1 video? AV1 is an open royalty free video coding format designed for video transmission over the internet. It was developed as a successor to VP9 by the Alliance for Open Media. Not only can Shortcut export the video in AV1, it can also edit AV1 video. One thing to do, take note though is that AV1 will take much longer to export because it is a higher compression format. As an example, on my very old laptop is that this video exported in H.264 took 30 seconds. However, exporting the same video clip on AV1 took 7 minutes and 23 seconds. Anyone want to sponsor a new laptop for me? Send some over for review. That's all for the new version of Shortcut. I hope that this video has been beneficial to you. If you're new to my channel, my name is James and I help you to leverage tech so that you can create greater impact. And a video is one of those things that can help you create great impact. Uh, do check out some of my other tutorials on the screen right now. These are all about shortcut tutorials. I do review other video editors as well. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and do give this video a thumbs up. It does really help me with the algorithm.